Well, today is Tuesday, December the 26th, 2017, day after Christmas. Got just a few days left uh, before the, this year is over with. Wanted to do a quick video here, just a follow-up video on my C60 experience. Uh, done several videos. You can look through my channel and see those if you'd like. But I've been on C60 now for about three months and uh, have tried, I've tried it in olive oil, I've tried it in coconut oil, and I'm trying it now in uh, avocado oil. The olive oil is the, to me, the hardest to take because it's not a lot of taste to it, but there's a little bit of a burn sensation as it goes down when you take C60 in the uh, olive oil. Although olive oil seems to be the most plentiful way to take it. I've taken it with the coconut oil. Coconut oil, very smooth, just no taste to that. So, uh, you know, that was that was what I would consider enjoyable. Using the avocado oil right now, no burn to that, but the avocado oil is, um, a, it has a little bit of taste to it, which I'm not real wild about, but it's just, it's a minor thing. It's a very minor thing. Some of you might like the avocado oil actually better because it does have a little bit of a taste to it. Things that I have noticed Really, there's there are only a couple of things. Well, I say a couple of things. There's actually three things. Number one, I had a toothache that was bothering me a considerable amount for a period of time there. And that seems to have gone away. Comes back once in a while, but nothing uh, of any problem. And it's pretty well, uh, pretty well stayed away because it was, it was pretty consistent there for several months. I do have an appetite difference, which is significant. I don't eat a lot anyway, but before I started with the C60, I seemed to want to eat a bit more than what I do right now. Uh, and right now I'm just, you know, I find it at times that I just, I'm just not hungry. So I try to pay attention to that and not just eat to be eating. And in the course of these last three months, uh, after a couple of months uh, in the last video, I, I mentioned that I had lost about five pounds and I've maintained that. That, that, that weight has not come back. Haven't lost any more, but uh, pretty, much, pretty well maintained that weight loss. And currently, I am taking a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons a day. I've got a little bottle cap, measuring cap, if you will, that um, I don't remember where I got that. You could probably get them at a pharmacy or Walmart or any place like that. But it's a little measuring cup that'll measure one or two teaspoons and I usually get closer to the two teaspoons a day and um, so I've maintained that for this bottle that I've got right now uh, I have noticed that I seem to sleep better uh, don't seem to require as much sleep now I can't say that is um, I don't sleep any any less, but I don't feel the need at times to take a nap. I don't feel that groggy feeling during the day, which I did feel at times before. So I'm going to attribute that to the um, to taking the C60. Energy levels about the same. I had anticipated having more energy than. Uh, than I did prior to taking it, but I really can't say anything, see any significant changes in my energy level, so that may come in time. Been asked by several people that I've talked to about this is, you know, why am I taking 
the C60? Well, I look at it as kind of like insurance. I'm more in the preventive aspect of health issues than taking the pills and trying to manage health issues. So, you know, and I think the phrase pay now or pay later is pretty appropriate right here. So I'm trying to uh, do as many things as I reasonably can between vitamins and things that I take. I've, I've, speaking of vitamins, I have slowed down on the number of vitamins that I take. I take less now than I did prior to taking the C60 because uh, from the advice of one of the scientists who, who uh, produces the C60, um, he said I wouldn't need as much. Misty's wanting to get into the picture right now. But as I've told many people, I am, you know, I am not interested in growing old gracefully. I'm, I'm very interested in, you know, natural health means. I don't want to go whole hog with it. And I have to pick and choose things that's, that suit, suit my lifestyle. But uh, I'm going to grow old kicking and screaming. I, <laughs> I want to remain young as long as I can. So with that, just wanted to give you an update on the C60. And uh, hope you have a happy new year. I think 2018 is going to be a great year uh, in a lot of ways. So uh, with that being said, we'll chat later.